What is up guys, Plot Armor Cards in the house, and today I'm here with a pure Cyber Dragon build. Now you guys can have discussion all you want in the comments whether or not you like the addition of Cyber Darks, but personally I feel like it's more fun with just pure Cyber Dragons. So I prefer to run a pure Cyber Dragon build. So without further ado, let's get started. So first and foremost we have our monsters. Obviously I like to run three copies of Cyber Dragon. Next I like to run two copies of Galaxy Soldier. And Galaxy Soldier's effect is you can send one other light monster from your hand to the graveyard, special summon this card from your hand in defense position, and when this card is special summoned, you can add one Galaxy monster from your deck to your hand, and you can only use this effect of Galaxy Soldier once per turn. So you can special summon this one, add another one, and then you can use it to make some of the extra deck monsters that we're going to go into afterwards. So up next, I like to play three copies of Cyber Dragon Core. Now Cyber Dragon Core's effect is when this card is normal summon, you can add one Cyber Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. Now this is really, really good searching. Um, secondly, if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one Cyber Dragon monster from your deck. You can only use one Cyber Dragon Core effect per turn, and only once that turn. This card's name becomes Cyber Dragon when it's on the field or graveyard. This second effect is also really, really good, just in order to special summon stuff from the graveyard. Obviously, you can't use both of them at the same time, but there's going to be a lot of points in the duel where you can special summon a Cyber Dragon. So up next, I like to play three copies of Cyber Dragon Hers. Cyber Dragon Hers' effect is this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while in the field or in the graveyard. This is very handy for fusions and whatnot. Um, you can use one of the following effects of Cyber Dragon Hers once per turn and only once that turn. First effect is if this card is special summoned, you can make this card's level become five until the end of the turn. That's also really good for the XYZ summoning that we're going to be doing. Secondly, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one other Cyber Dragon from your deck or graveyard to your hand. This is really good extension and recycling. When it's sent to the graveyard, you can choose to add a Cyber Dragon from your graveyard, which allows you to keep your combos going without losing too many cards. I also like to play two copies of Cyber Dragon Nashter and one copy of Cyber Dragon Veer. Now, Cyber Dragon Veer's effect is this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while in the field or in the graveyard. And if you normal special summon Cyber Dragon, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. You can only use this effect of Cyber Dragon Veer once per turn, and each Cyber Dragon you control gains 500 attack and defense. This is really, really good to get out fusions. As stated before, sometimes you need them on the field. Cyber Dragon Nashter's effect is this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the graveyard. You can discard one other monster, special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summon, you can target one machine monster with 2100 attack or defense in your graveyard, special summon it. You also cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except for machine monsters. Now this is a really good combination. You can discard Cyber Dragon to special summon it, and then special summon Cyber Dragon. So, pretty good. So lastly, for the monsters, I like to play these one ofs. I like to play one copy of Cyber l I like to play one copy of Jizukiru. I like to play one copy of Chaos Dragon Livianir. And I also like to play one copy of Dino Wrestler Prank Tops. So up next are the spell cards. I like to play three copies of Cyber Emergency. And three. Its effect is, add one light machine monster that cannot be normal summoned slash set, or one cyber dragon monster from your deck to your hand. If the activation of this card in its owner position was negated by your opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can discard one card, add this card back to your hand. Now this is really good, because you can use this card, normal summon it, use this effect to add one cyber spell card, which would be this, and then search for cyber dragon. So next, I like to play two copies of Machine Duplication. Machine Duplication is cool because you can target one machine monster you control with 500 or less attack, special summon up to two monsters from your deck with the same name as that card. So let's say I have Cyber Dragon Nashter on the field. So it has 200 attack, so it's a perfect candidate. Its name becomes Cyber Dragon while it's on the field. So if I play Machine Duplication, I can special summon two Cyber Dragons, which pops off a lot of different combos. Next, I play two copies of Overload Fusion. And this one is pretty self-explanatory. Its effect is you can fusion summon one dark machine fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your field or graveyard. This is, as we'll see with the next card, is really, really good because one, you get to special summon any of these dark machine monsters that a lot of the Cyber Dragon archetype are. And two, it pops off a different combo that's up next. So after I've banished some monsters with Overload Fusion, I like to play one of my two copies of Cyberload Fusion. I fusion summon one fusion monster from my extra deck that lists a cyber dragon monster as material by shuffling the fusion materials listed on it from my into the deck among the cards on the field and or face up banished cards. So everything that I just used to banish with this card, 
I can reshuffle it into my deck and automatically bring out another monster. So lastly for the spell cards are my one ofs. I like to play one copy of Cyber Rev System. Again, if you can get your hands on one more of these, I would definitely recommend using two if you can get your hands on it. So I will play one copy of Cyber Repair Plant. I will also play one copy of Monster Reborn, one copy of Super Polymerization, and one copy of Mystical Space Typhoon. For the trap cards, I like to play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. We all know why Infinite Impermanence is one of the best cards in the game right now. Its effect is you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, negate its effects until the end of the turn, and then if this card was set before activation and is on the field at resolution for the rest of this turn, no other spell and trap cards in this call. Sorry, all other spell and trap cards in this column are negated. If you control no cards, you can activate this card from your hand. It's pretty, pretty good. Next, I play two copies of Mirror Force. Uh, if you can afford an ash blossom or you happen to have an ash blossom i would rec definitely recommend switching both of these out for ash blossom but since i don't have that right now i play two copies of mirror force lastly are the extra deck cards i like to play two copies of cyber dragon nova and then i like to play two copies of cyber dragon infinity now cyber dragon nova only takes two level five machine monsters so if you have cyber dragon you can summon it and then on top of that you can place cyber dragon infinity which is in my opinion the best monster in this entire deck so its effect is once per turn, you can also XYZ summon XYZ Cyber Dragon Infinity using Cyber Dragon Nova you control as material. So you can just place it on top of that. And then transfer materials to this card. It gains 200 attack for each materials attached to it. Once per turn, you can target one face-up attack position monster on the field. Attach it to this card as a face-up material. And then once per turn, when a card or effect is activated, quick effect, you can detach one material from this card and negate the activation. And if you do, destroy it. So this is very, very good negation and destruction. I also like to play two copies of Cameratech Overdragon. I also like to play two copies of Cameratech Rampage Dragon. I also like to play one copy each of Cameratech Forstress Dragon, Cameratech Mega Fleet Dragon, Cyber End Dragon, Cyber Eternity Dragon, and Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. And that was it for today's deck build, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe if you feel I've earned it. And oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time! to do do do